Hello, thank you for joining me. In this video, our video number four in our series on how to create a simple basement in a simple Revit uh, residential home model, uh, we're going to be putting in our basement walls. So what we want to do is uh, create a wall that's uh, a cast in place concrete wall, eight inches wide. Uh, it's kind of like a tall uh, stem wall and we're going to build that around uh, the geometry that we've created from the first floor. So what we're looking at here with these lines up here are our first floor walls. We have our exterior portion of the wall, our finished face exterior on the you know the top line here, and then the bottom line is our finished face interior line. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to create a whole new wall. So if we go to the wall button and let's scroll down and choose the generic eight-inch wall. What we're going to be doing is doing a cast-in-place concrete wall, eight inches. We're going to make sure that our all of our uh, requirements here are. Uh, consistent with what we're trying to do. We're going to draw a wall from the basement level, which is our base con constraint. Uh, then our top constraint is going to be the first floor, so let's make sure we change that. Okay, we got our basic uh, generic 8 inch wall, but let's go ahead and edit that type and make it a concrete wall instead. So just like we've done before, go to the duplicate button. Generic 8 inch, we're going to call that concrete. 8 inch. And to be consistent, let's make that uh, capitalized concrete. 8 inch. Go to OK. Hmm, this is already in use. So I've already created that. But uh, again, just for the sake of uh, uh, practice here, we'll call that maybe concrete dash, dash 8 inches. And I'll go through the steps of how to create that. So a structure, we want to go to the edit button on the structure. Go to the section where it's uh, well, we're defining the structure, and that's all we're going to do with this wall is we're going to define the structure of that wall, which is going to be nothing more than concrete. There's not going to be any finished elements on the inside or outside of that wall. But conceivably, we could put a membrane in the outside or insulation on the outside or on the inside. There are a lot of finish and maybe sub-structural components that we could add, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to try to keep it simple. So cast in place concrete and go to OK. And we're going to keep that 8 inches and go to OK again. OK one more time. And let's just go over to our properties palette to make sure we have that all correct. So basic wall, concrete 8 inches. Uh, the wall center line, that's incorrect. We're going to use a finish face exterior in this. And a finish face and a core face exterior are the same. They're the same plane since we don't have any finish elements on it. Those are going to be the same. So either one of those that you choose would be OK. And uh, from the basement level up to first floor. Sounds good. Start with that point here, and what we're going to do is we're going to draw that's going to be uh, a draw a wall, a line that's going to represent that wall. It's going to be collinear, coplanar, with a with a wall that we drew for the first floor. So the finished face exterior wall plane of that wall on the first floor is going to be coplanar with the the wall that we're drawing now. But there is a difference. If we were to draw that wall down rather than across, you notice that the wall builds out, still consistent with that line, but on the outside of that line. That's the reason why we want to go clockwise rather than counterclockwise when we're laying out our walls. So, let's go back and go in this direction. And we'll just click on all these endpoints. And it should be connected. Here's our basement wall. We just still need to make some modifications. Let's take a look at something. If we go to the View tab and put in a section, we'll put in two sections here. And you notice our section symbol is like teeny, teeny, tiny, because we have a one-to-one -one, uh, scale on this. Let's go back to the scale that we're really used to, which is the one-eighth of an inch of a scale. And you notice that the section kind of disappeared. This happens. The section will give you a certain range that it will be visible in. And we could change that. So if we go to the section down here, go to section one, and click the range that we want to see it at. It says hide at scales greater than or closer than that. What we want to do is choose the one eighth of an inch scale so it's visible here. And go to apply. And let's go back to our basement and we should see that section back again, which we do. So that's a little bit complicated and we'll make sure that we have our scale correctly when we put our sections in. But let's take a look at this to see what the wall looks like. So we have our structural wall which is right underneath our wall for the first floor. Not quite correct. And in the next video I'm going to show you how to fix that.